Hello, and thanks for stopping by. Today I want to talk about MPV. Now MPV is a media player for the command line. In other words, you'll be playing your music and your videos through the terminal. So if we look here, we can see that we have some keyboard controls. We have left and right, which is seek backwards slash forward five seconds. Less than sign and greater than sign to go back and forward in the playlist. Space bar to pause. Q to stop playing and quit. 9 and 0 to decrease and increase the volume. M to mute. F to toggle full screen, escape to exit full screen, and so many more commands. As far as our mouse control is concerned, we have left double click to toggle full screen on and off, right click to pause on and off, forward slash back button to skip the next slash previous entry in the playlist, wheel up and down to decrease and increase volume, and a couple of other commands. So let me just go ahead and show you what this looks like. Right now I'm in Ranger and I'm about to hit play on this song. So we went ahead and paused there. We're able to go five seconds forward and backward if you see the numbers there. I can increase and decrease volume, and I could go to the beginning with just the right arrow key. But did you guys know that there is a configuration file for MPV? Well, if you didn't, now you do. And I have mine set up in .config forward slash MPV forward slash MPV dot com. And what I have listed off here is loop dash playlist is inf for infinite, loop dash file is equal to inf, and audio dash display equals no. And the reason I added these to my configuration file is because whenever I'm listening to music, I'm always listening to the same song over and over again. So I don't want to use a key binding to keep toggling it on and off. I want it to be something that just always happens. As for audio dash display, well what that is is that every time you play a song and if there's any artwork to it, it's going to show you the artwork. And I don't want to look at the artwork. And so now that I've done music, let's do a video. And so as you can see here, we have a player that plays the video. And you can mute it, you can full screen it, just like that. We can scrub through this, just like so. And of course we can hit play. And now we've come full circle. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I shall see you guys in the next video.